Coach Pryor here at the Coach's Classroom, and we're finishing up, and we're going to bring it in for a landing right now. Talk about the last few points because they're kind of all connected um, right here in the swing and contact point. So let's get right into it. We're going to talk about the weight against the front foot and the transfer at contact or on contact. Talk a little bit about the weight transfer. Um, we're going to uh, talk about where the chin drops to the chest, the eyes into the hitting zone, uh, see the ball at contact, the back uh, leg forms an L, slant, and both arms are extended to form a power V. Okay, if you look right here, we kind of can talk about this a little bit. You know, the weight is back here uh, on the back leg, and as we go through the swing, we get nice and, and shored up right here with a strong, strong front side, and then our weight actually transfers to the front leg at contact and through contact as we go into the finish. So we have a weight shift from it being back here, transferring through to the ball, and then eventually onto the front leg as we go into the finishing of the swing, and we'll demonstrate that here in a minute. Notice the chin. The chin is dropped to the chest, and it's looking right here. His eyes are right down on the ball at contact. So we're going to go from the front shoulder, Mike, back shoulder, Ike. We're going from Mike to chin to chest to Ike, where we rotate off the ball. And the eyes are actually in the hitting zone at contact. The back leg forms a slanted L. We can see that relationship right there and that the both arms are extended to a power V. So as he comes through this ball, he's going to extend and the arms are going to be here into a power V. So let's take a look at this in a little bit more detail as I demonstrate it. And let's talk about the weight transfer. So we're here and as we, as we load, okay, and as we get through, I'm going to be driving forward through the ball. So I'm going to have forward motion from this power position and I'm going to push and if you notice, my hips don't just stay here and rotate. I'm not just staying here. I'm going to actually push and drive through the ball and extend through the ball. Now, if you look at a lot of those power hitters, you know, like Harper and uh, Pool Halls, you're going to see guys that actually drive, and when they actually are making contact and through the ball, their back foot is literally off the ground. You know, go look at some YouTube video, check it out. But they're just so aggressive and driving forward and driving through that backside through the ball, their back foot is literally coming off the ground. Um, but the point is, is that we're going to have a weight transfer as we go to the ball and through the ball. But it's very important that at separation, we stay landed and the weight stays back into that back leg. It's not until we're ready to actually throw the punch that we're going to transfer our weight forward and move forward and through the ball at connection at the contact point. Okay, chin drops to the chest, that's obvious. His head is down, his eyes are down. You can see the back leg where it forms the, the L and the arms are gonna extend into a power V, which all that means is we're here, power L. Then when we make contact, we're gonna extend through the ball and finish our swing. And that's kind of bringing everything into a landing to finish. Uh, the only thing we'll talk about here in a minute is on our next uh, series, we're going to talk a little bit more in depth about the follow-through, a couple critical points uh, to learn with the follow-through, and you're on your way to being a rock star hitter. Again, Coach Pryor, and that's the rock star way.